talk to me about your background and why you decided to run for city council. Thank you. I'm honored to be here. Uh, my name is Gordon Klingenschmidt. I'm an Air Force Academy graduate. I'm a 20-year military veteran. I love our country and I've served America, not just as an Air Force officer here at NORAD Space Command, but as a Navy chaplain when I took a stand for the right to pray in Jesus' name. When the government said, no, you don't have freedom of religion, freedom of speech, I took a stand and I was vindicated by Congress who changed the law. So that was the beginning of my career in politics. I returned to Colorado Springs after my military assignments. I uh, lived here basically all my adult life except for military assignments and I ran for public office. I was elected to the Colorado State House of Representatives and I was twice named the most conservative state legislator from El Paso County according to the principles of Liberty Scorecard. So you know what I stand for, lower taxes, smaller government, religious freedom, constitutional rights, and liberty. And as city council stands today, what would you do differently? Well, you gotta look at the way city council has been voting lately. If you've been keeping track of the bills that go through, uh, there's a six to three, sometimes seven to two left-leaning majority that consistently votes, voted three times, for example, to raise your taxes or to uh, put bicycle lanes where there ought to be cars driving. Uh, very inefficient. Yes, they're fixing the potholes. Thank God for that. But now we're stuck in traffic behind miles of empty bicycle lanes with no bicycles in sight. This is a, a safety hazard. It's, it's unpopular with the people, and I'm going to try to put a stop to that. So as you mentioned, you are known for your conservatism. Uh, the at-large seats are supposed to represent the city as a whole. So how do you think you would be willing to represent the city as a whole? Well, I'm glad you asked that because I want to lower people's taxes. Did you know our city now pays 8.25% sales tax. It's higher than Denver. Uh, Denver only pays 7.65% city sales tax. Uh, they're actually taxing the poor. And they also voted, city council recently voted 9-0, I think, to raise everybody's utility rates. I think that's uh, hard on poor people. They have a hard enough time. Listen, uh, the median income of a Colorado Springs personal income uh, resident is $29,000. You think about that single mom who's got three kids. She's got to pay her rent, that's half of her paycheck. She's got to pay utilities, phone, food. By the time Christmas comes, she has nothing to give her kids. So why are we taxing her to pay for these exorbitant, uh, honestly, city salaries, pension, and benefits? Two thirds of our city budget goes to uh, employees, and instead of fixing the roads, they just gave all the city employees a tax, a, a pay raise. Our, our city is no longer efficient, and we already pay higher taxes than Denver. They want to turn us into Boulder. So to recap, would uh, taxation be an uh, agenda item you know, at the top of your list, or what are some issues that are at the top of your list? Yes. I will defend constitutional liberties, lower taxes. I will uh, stop the expansion of the bike lanes, uh, provide efficient, uh, faster, better, cheaper government. We need to fix our roads. We need to provide and, and facilitate more affordable housing units. We, need a, we have a transportation, we have an energy crisis. They're trying to close Drake Power Plant a little bit early, and I understand the arguments for and against that, but look at what they did in Pueblo. They closed two power plants prematurely, and they jacked up everybody's utility rates. Instead of paying 11 cents per kilowatt hour, now it's 14 cents per kilowatt hour. Everybody's light bill went up 27%. No wonder we have more homeless people in Pueblo than we do in Colorado Springs. I also want to solve the homeless problem. How will you do that? Well, listen, uh, as a compassionate conservative, I've already been a leader in this area. My charity gave free coats to homeless veterans last year. When I was a Navy chaplain, my programs and my sailors won six awards for community service because we fed the homeless every Friday. Uh, I care about the poor, and yet we shouldn't have tax incentives or social welfare programs for able-bodied people who don't want to work. I believe in smaller government, but I'm also compassionate. I want private charities and we need more shelter beds in this town. And we also, I want to support the mayor and support uh, law enforcement. We need public safety, law and order, and make sure whether you're homeless or not, that you're not uh, harassing law-abiding citizens on the sidewalk. Can you summarize your platform in one sentence? One sentence, gosh, I'm so glad you gave me this time. My website is gordonforcolorado.com. You can see my full platform there. But listen, I was twice rated the most conservative state legislator from El Paso County because I consistently vote for lower taxes, smaller government, constitutional liberties, and freedom. 
My name is Chaplain Gordon Klingenschmidt. I ask for your vote.